Today's Bible study is titled, In Christ We Are Abraham's Seed. In our last reading, we came to Paul's point regarding the fulfilled purpose of Israel's Mosaic Law as a schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, and that was, after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. So, we saw that, for the believer and beneficiaries of the faith of Christ, the schoolmaster role of the law is done and the law in no way serves any further purpose in the believer's life. This was a huge point Paul made to the Galatian believers who had been troubled by those of the circumcision casting doubts upon their salvation apart from circumcision and obedience of the law and faith was the answer. We'll see the continuing role of faith as Paul continues today. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Galatians 3 verses 26 to 29 Let's dig into this. The conclusion of the faith of Jesus Christ in our simple belief by grace through faith in the gospel is, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Here in the same fashion as Paul explained in Galatians 2 verse 15 that, by the faith of Jesus Christ even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and thus we see the role of our belief and faith placed in his and see that we thereby become children of God. And upon that simple belief by grace through faith the conclusion, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. And please note that this is not referring to Israel's water baptism, repent and be water baptized, rather the Holy Spirit baptizing us into the body of Christ, for by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13. And via our union with Christ thereby believers have put on Christ. And in the believer's baptism into and becoming members of the body of Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female. And there is no division in the body of Christ, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. There is one body and one head of the body Jesus Christ, and we have oneness therein. Believer, understand your union with Christ by Holy Spirit's baptizing you into his body, and thereby you have likewise in Christ become Abraham's seed. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.